All right, welcome everybody uh, here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube in the future for Rakdos Burn. So we played a Rakdos Burn one deck one time um, where we just have a whole lot of burn spells and then sword points, risk factors, and light at the stages to get more cards, basically. Um, and we, we did pretty well with it, but the thing that was really impressive was our sideboard. I had four Pestilent Spirits in the sideboard and four Carnivals in the sideboard. Um, and I ended up just bringing them every single matchup. Of course, we only played against decks with creatures. Um, but these two cards were awesome, and uh, especially Pestilent Spirit. And so I want to maybe try those out in the main deck. Like, maybe just try try that out main um, and, and see how it goes. So I have a completely different sideboard because, you know, I have, like, those eight slots that were in last time have those uh, in the main deck now. Um, I have a 23rd land instead of 22. Um, I think we kind of need another land with all these threes. Cause, um, you know, a little worried about Skewer uh, being three mana. Live the stage could be three sometimes also. So we have a 23rd land, and then we have a 24th in the sideboard where we could have like Eldritch Reborn and Angrath's. Um, have that combination there. Um, have some have some Cosmotron Cosmotronic Waves. <laughs> Card I haven't basically ever played or wanted to play. Um but if you have a pestilence spirit in play against like a creature heavy deck so i'm thinking like you know like tokens decks and mono white and decks that don't really have a whole lot of removal maybe we can get a pestilence spirit in play untap with it and then cosmotronic wave and deal one damage to all their creatures just wrath their board so that could be kind of fun so that's my thing in there um so there we go rakdos burn let's try it out so green hat man uh do I have room for a donation deck today? I, I do. I can I can uh, just move Mardu Angels. Um, so, yeah, I can, can fit that in. The Azorius Aggro is a donation deck as well, but, yeah, I can move Mardu Angels. Um, do you consider social engineering a part of the game or cheating? I, I don't know what social engineering is. So I don't... I don't know what that means, just honestly. Okay, we'll organize for another day. Okay, I can I can play your third green hat man, and I can move I can move Bant tokens to fourth and, move, and play your third, if you would like. For Sanctum Sanctuary, but yeah, this next the next deck after this is another donation deck that I want to keep there. Hmm. I'll just do tapped. I kind of want to shock in to have carnival or shock available here. All right, so let's carnival, deal one and one, and have light at the stage. So I, I really want light up the stage to hit at least one land. A land in a spell. Perfect. Land in a spell. That's exactly what we want to see. Okay. Um... Yeah. Forerunner getting Mavern Fane. So Mavern Fane. Uh, definitely a card we need to kill. Definitely a card we need to kill before they attack. So I'm going to put a stop on their second main phase here. Um, because I don't want them to be able to go to attackers. And attack with this. 1-1. Uh, one, one. And then make a new 1-1. One, one. Alright, time to get some Pestilent Spirits in play. 3-2 Menace Death Touch. Alright, not so bad. Um... Let's just go. Maybe Carnival, kill Mavern Fane, deal one to them, and then bite. 
Uh. Yeah. We'll do one one. Then attacking here does let them gain a life. Because they have the lifeling creature, but I think that's that's still worth the attack. <laughs> that's awesome, Cedavax. Hey, what's up, Clue King? Doesn't Maverin's... Oh, you're right. It, it is non-token vampires you control attack. You're right. It is. Whoa, Liliana the Necromancer? I have never seen this card in play. I've never seen this card played. One first, pretty cool art. It's a good picture of Liliana. Um, so, I think tick up, I lose two life, minus one, return a creature. Hmm. I'll just attack Liliana. They, of course, cannot block Pestilent Spirit here. Hey, what's up, Eisen F? I probably should have just played the Pestilent Spirit. This this happened a whole lot yesterday, and I guess people were saying in chat that it was happening to them as well, of, like, just the reconnect. Oh, thanks, Golden Guy. It's in tricks here as well. Happy Tuesday, everybody. There we go. <laughs> I'm just casting the Lightning Strike to use my mana a little better. Alright, donation deck on the way. Prepare for the smothering. The Azorius smothering. Man, having Carnival just deal a damage to them and kill all their stuff all the time, it's pretty sweet. Hey, Darksip. I'm doing good. Doing good. Been, um, been working on different stream stuff today, and yeah, doing really good. All right, got game one. So this seems like the the perfect time to be using Cosmotronic Wave. Let's get uh, Fiery Cannonades in here, Cosmotronic Waves. Um, maybe even just Coils as well. Does seem like... Um, So that, that's a lot of removal, a lot of burn spells, but... Um, no, I didn't Dark Sip. I, I just kind of waited a little bit and checked it like later on in the day. It got better, and then like the next day it was good again. So... I didn't actually call anybody, but it fixed itself. Um, so what four cards do I want to cut? I kind of like all these things. I could I could see cutting Sovereign's Bite, um, or Sword Point or Risk Factor. Maybe just Risk Factor. Kind of trip because like I'm adding in threes and fours. Hmm. Actually, I'm going to get rid of Lava Runner. Alright, final answer. Getting rid of Lava Runner. 
No, that that little uh, disconnect thing. I think that's on Arena. Um, that's something that's just kind of been happening since yesterday and today on Arena, and it seemed like uh, a lot of other people saying it's been happening for them as well. Yeah, I'm glad I kept the risk factors in. I think we're going to need the card advantage. Okay, yeah, even having that... Um, that problem as well. It doesn't have, like, the, the sound effect that it used to. Okay, good. We got something to block. That's helpful. Uh, that's really bad. I mean, I have I have like the chain roller type cards in the in the sideboard. Um, you know, I, I we brought in four sweepers. We just had to draw them. Yeah, we need we haven't drawn any of our sweepers or card advantage yet. And that's not so good for us. Alright, there we go. That's a good card. The thing is like those one ones will just continually gain life for our opponent, so even like it feels bad using lightning strikes on them for sure. Um, but I just, I feel like we have to because the, the continual life gain will be difficult. <laughs> we do have a very striking hand. Go ahead and just draw. I could strike them. The thing about striking them last turn is I would have used my mana well. Um, waiting uh, kind of gave them... the opportunity to <clears throat> waiting gave them the opportunity to um, wrongly decide what to do with the risk factor So we have four points of burn right here between Carnival and Lightning Strike. Oh wait, no, Carnage. Carnage deals three. Never mind. So we have we just have six. So we can just do Carnage for three and Lightning Strike for three. Six mana. Perfect. We'll make them discard their cards too. Why not? There we go. First game pretty impressive. 
beating a vampire deck filled with things that say lifelink on it. Usually that's that's a uh, you know really tough kind of deck for a Rakdos burn to be able to beat. We didn't even have any sweepers. We just fought through it. So we're gonna need another land, just like one more land, so we can sword point diplomacy, which basically sword point basically always lets you hit more land drops. So really hoping to draw a land in the first two turns here. Hmm. So do I want to strike that thing? We'll see. Um, I could certainly see my opponent playing like a, a, a um, Steamkin. Um, ooh, good question. Yeah, so um, I do need a new emote artist. And so what do y'all think of MTG Nerd Girls emotes. Do you think that's a good emote artist for the new emotes that I need? Hey, Soul Farmer. So there we go. So I want to find something else to strike. All right, so next turn, it, like, we just really want to draw a land here for so many reasons. Okay. So now do I want to sword point, or I can just bite plus stage, which is kind of nice. But I think I'm going to sword point because that really just guarantees that we hit land drops for the most part. All right, solid. Nice. All right, so they give us the Lava Runner and give us the Bite. And they just give it, give it all. So just three mana, draw three. <laughs> you think we needed a GG emote? Is there any like way to make GG emote like different and unique besides just being those letters? So I could certainly see my opponent uh, using a burn spell here on the Lava Runner. Oh yeah, I'm not I'm not planning on getting rid of any of the those good emotes, but I have like three open slots right now that I need to fill to start with. Oh, a Final Fantasy themed emote. Oh, 
Everyone's playing pretty slow here. That's okay. I wish the bite had like that sound effect. It doesn't have that sound effect anymore. <laughs> Just have cloud in his in a tie. Chain Whirler is definitely annoying. So don't have a 3 damage burn spell currently. We'll see if that changes. Alright, so we have to cast this, otherwise it goes away. So let's go ahead and shock the Firebrand. Um, and then uh, Sword Point again. Four risk factors. Wow. They took six. Instead of just letting me have two shocks, they took six. Okay. Six damage it is. Alright, we're going down to eight. Sovereign's Bite will help a little bit. Ugh. Down to five. Got to be another one. Hey, what's up, James? Yeah, I guess our opponent didn't want us to use the four, the four damage shocks to. I guess they didn't want us to uh, be able to kill the Chain Whirler. Because the Chain Whirler gets to keep doing more damage. Alright, so this is... Basically, if the opponent draws a burn spell, we lose. If they don't, we win. Most likely. Like, It's going to be pretty hard for us not to be able to pick up two points of burn before the next turn. Uh, they drew a burn spell. Man, that's so many burn spells. Uh, um, I don't, I don't know if I've had a peanut butter or jelly sandwich since, since like before I was ten years old. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really eat jelly, at all. Um, so yeah, I don't have a favorite. I won't dark sip. That's nothing that'll change ever. That's nothing that should ever change. Um, so Pestilent Spirit isn't the best here. Maybe I just go Angrath instead of Spirit. Is the is the lag still bad right now? It says excellent on my screen now, um, but it, it was unstable a little bit ago. Alright, it was just a bit of a flutter, but we're good now. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I can hear my fan working a little bit more. I think... I talked with one of my friends. I, I think one of my fans is on my computer is kind of going out right now. So that's something that I'm going to be addressing soon, buying new computer fans and trying to do a little computer surgery. 
Um, no, I added in an extra land here, so I'm putting the Angrass in the deck. Um, I mean, we just we had a lot of lands there because of our Sword Point Diplomacies. That's why it seemed like we had a lot of lands, because that's what Sword Point Diplomacy does. It lets you hit land drops. So this hand isn't so great, but we have we have a lot of red sources. There we go. I was going to say, we have a lot of red sources kind of overall in our deck. Um, and I really like having the two sword, the two Sovereign's Bites. I think Sovereign's Bite is, uh, is a really important card for the matchup. So I want to strike the Pyromancer, but if I do that, I don't get to do anything else. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and bite and light up the stage. Those were not good cards to see with that light up the stage. That This play is not working out. <laughs> not working out so well. I wanted to see red mana. Hmm. So that that light at the stage didn't work too well. terrible. <clears throat> I went with the Sword Point Diplomacy here, hoping to get a, a red source and have them pay three life on something and us get a red source, so then I could cast the Skewer the Critics also. That's my hope. Alright, so I, I did not bring in uh, the Fiery Cannonade, but I really think I should have. I think I should have brought that in instead of Coil. Um... So, you know, kind of learning about sideboarding here. So I think Fiery Cannonade is a good card. I kind of thought about that at the very end of sideboarding, but we were running out of time. Um, but with how I'm just kind of going mono burn spells and stuff and not having the creatures, I think that having that would have been a good option. All right, so the opponent took six damage instead of giving me... Sword point and sovereign spite. The good news is they're almost dead. If we draw, if we finally find another red source here, we can go like strike, strike, and basically kill them. The problem is our opponent can probably kill us instead. Yeah. Alright, so don't bring in Coil against Mono Red, bring in Fiery Cannonade instead. I'll make that sideboard change. Yeah, I really like Sword Point Diplomacy also. Definitely like that card quite a bit. Oh yeah, Cannonade doesn't kill Firebrand. That's a very good point. It does get rid of the, the two ones and the and the one twos. These things. They're all their wizards. I even I boarded in a land that game. It didn't really seem like it, but we actually went up to 24 lands. Last time we played the deck, we played 22 lands. I put in a 23rd uh, before this, and then I even put in a 24th in the sideboard. Do you want to see Sword Point and Grixis discard? Well, when you're when you're not dealing damage to the opponent. The value of the card goes way down if you're not dealing damage to the opponent. Um, because if it's just pretty easy for them to just take 9 because you're not having other sources of damage. Like, you need to be an aggressive deck. 
for the card to work. Yeah, we had a lot of lands, but we're not we're still not drawing lands, even though we do have a lot of lands in here. Alright, good news, the opponent doesn't have lands either. Um just cast this light up the stage. We're just looking like a burn deck right about now. four cards left. We're doing better in the card department. Hmm. If I strike them, I can cast another light up the stage, but then we may just take more damage from the Lava Runner. I think we're better in the longer game right about now, so I, th I think I just want to kill the Lava Runner. I can, of course, Carnival... I can I can Carnival and cast Light of the Stage, like, before before that creature died, of course. I could have Carnivaled and then Light of the Stage, but... I'm gonna wait on that to have Pestilent Spirit in play. Hopefully, or be able to kill, like, a 1-1. One, one. All right, risk factor. See if they want to just take the four. The matchup's not about speed. We're saying that Rakdos Burn isn't fast enough compared to Red Deck Wins. This is not, it's not about speed. Yeah, yesterday and today, uh, it seems like it's doing this a whole lot. Alright, so there's a Blood Crypt. Sovereign's Bite is certainly a good card here. What is this card? I want to go seven. Yeah, we can go seven. I have nine dual lands in the deck. You know, the eight regular ones and one Rakdos skill gate. I don't think the Carnage is making them really discard anything of particular wealth. Played your Rakdos Menagerie deck today in a competitive event, went 5-1. The deck's really fun to play. That's awesome, Van Loa. Nice. Glad to hear. What you got, opponent? Wizard's Lightning. And they have to discard a Lava Coil.
I guess that's certainly fair. If there's no creature on the, the battlefield, then it's just a burn race. That's certainly fair. Um, it's hard to do 20 damage, though, with just burn spells when there's no, like, if there's no creature on the battlefield. If you're not dealing damage over time. And that's, that's basically how we lost, was, like, the damage over time, was the damage to the creatures. Um... Our deck is, is better at recouping enough burn spells. Well, I, I don't know what to do about the lag. Um, so some break taking out spirit. And then two carnival. Is that, is it possible that that's the fan on my computer that's not working very well that does that? Yeah, I know Skewer. Skewer can certainly be can be pretty bad. Absolutely. Um, that's why I only have two in the deck. But yeah, we saw that um, the previous turn. Oh, I don't. I didn't have. Okay, I didn't have the random on the playlist, so it was just going right down the list. That's a good light at the stage. Gets another light at the stage, and they did not cast the second one, so they wanted to wait on it. Alright, we'll go ahead and bite. I want to save the cannonade. So I, I, I hope our opponent plays more Lava Runners. That's what I want to see. Hey, After Wizard, doing good. No, not everybody, just the, our last two opponents. Huh. It's a little odd. Hmm. Yes, they played the wrong land, and then they didn't just... They could have attacked, and then had Light of the Stage be one mana, instead of just spending all three mana on it. Alright, so they give us Lava Runner. They take three instead of Lightning Strike, and then three instead of Light of the Stage. So the Lightning Strike would have only dealt three to them anyway, so we just got to cast Lightning Strike for zero mana. So Sword Point got to deal six, and draw us... Draw us a card. Replace itself in deal six. That's a pretty good burn spell. I'll take it. And then Scourge Mark's out of here. So they're down. We're at 12, but they're down to two cards. Right, they're down to one card. Let's kill all those. Get some attacking in. Alright, what's your last card, opponent? Risk factor. I'm down to six. I think that's acceptable. Let's see what we get. Hmm. 
Yeah, the cannonade was a whole lot better for us than lava coil would have been. So I can just take this, go down to two. And then I have enough to kill them. Let's deal with Carnage again. Okay. The opponent was shocked. Are right, you think I should have let Angrath finish him off? Alright, so sideboard better there. Um, fiery cannonade, pretty important. That worked out really well. Alright, two and one with Rakdos burn. Burning it up. Uh, I guess so. Yeah, Sovereign's Bite really is the difference in the matchup. That's a good good call. Sovereign's Bite, uh, great card. Go Shock, Stage. I'm in there. All right, what do we got for next turn? Land Stage. Nah. Yeah, Pestilent Spirit is pretty awesome. I like it quite a bit. Wow, what a good card to draw. What a good card to draw. I'll just take that. Whew! That turn. That's pretty good. Pretty good turn right there. We get a free mound to play next turn. Also. Hmm. Fortunately, I don't have anything good to, to finish off this land war elf. Oh, uh, they have cast down. It's annoying. So it's risk factor time. Time to start factoring in some risk. See how much risk the opponent wants to factor in, I suppose, is the way to say that. Shock. Down to nine. Okay. Let's Let's see if they find like a hydroid crisis to gain a little life. So I'm not gonna show them they have another risk factor, I don't think I don't think I need to do that. It's coming my way. All right, they're down to four. Meet my newest friend. Man, another um, another carnival would be a great card to draw here, where I could have like skewer plus carnival. Oh no, wow, growth walker! No. All right, pestilence spirit, where are you at? 
We gotta kill that thing. No. Hey, what's up, Pestilent Spirit? Um. So. If I cast Risk Factor, then. I can't actually kill the Wild Growth Walker. Hey, what's up, Track Team? So I think I just have to kind of bite the bullet here and just go Spirit. Skewer. That. Really wish we had like one more mana. Um. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Please, no other wild growth. Vivian's at eight loyalty. I'm not sure if I was supposed to attack with the Lava Runner that last turn. You know, my opponent certainly just snaps off the block with Branch Walker. I'm not sure if, like, I'm supposed to trade there or not. I, I just don't know. Your corpse will make a nice super good. I haven't forgotten how to destroy I feel like I should probably trade now before they... Um. Man Matter before they ultimate the Vivian. Welcome to the stream, Man Matter. Um, sub number one on the day. Kicking the day off right. So... Let's see. So I carnival the Lanwar Elf. I guess I can do one to Vivian to keep them from ultimating Vivian. I could do one to Vivian and one of them. But I think I want to just do one to Lanwar Elf, one to them, and then bite. Put them down to four. And attack with Lava Runner. Oh, Vraska can heal with the tick up. That's a good call. I guess I need to kill Vraska then. Good call. Oh, I was getting bored anyway. So let's Yeah, let's kill Vraska. You can't stop nature. The Vivian ultimate, while kind of scary, doesn't kill us super quickly. Yeah, it looks like it, the stream's lagging again. Um. Yeah, it says it says unstable again here for me. Gain two lives. So they're at five. So I'm close to killing them. Close to having them dead. Um, I mean, either way, risk factor or sword point is just draw three. Uh, so I guess I'll just cast this one. I guess it doesn't doesn't really matter. They're both draw three. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't really matter which which way we go. It should be back now. Now it says excellent again. So I don't know. I don't really know what's going on there. 
Hmm. We couldn't get even just a single burn spell there. So I shock, light up the stage. Oh my gosh, so close. So close to killing him. We're just not quite there yet. So close. Uh, one point away. Yeah, there. No one knows. Looking for another wild growth walker. Tilt. A lot of life. Have to do nine damage to him. So seven damage to him next turn. I guess it's possible to do 7 damage to them. Okay, that's a good start. Good start. Horrible follow-up. Horrible follow up. Yeah, that's that's not what we needed. Ugh. Oh, Leonidas skin with that uh, Twitch Prime sub saying cool deck. I love it. Sorry, I missed that. My bad. Two subs on the day. Alright, let's get this Cosmotronic Wave. That seems like a pretty cool card with Pestilent Spirit. Um, Wild Growth Walker is a huge problem. Because we were taking, we were just dead. Uh, we couldn't deal enough damage to our opponent. I mean, I guess there's a chance that they just take the four damage, but there's, that's just not even a chance. Well, we lost our other games because we didn't hit land drops. That's our first game we lost for having too many lands. But you know, we drew tons and tons of cards with the diplomacies and risk factors. Um. I'm going to play these Angraths. I want to play these Angraths. Jenny was a friend of mine. So if we play all these, I'm going to take out the Skewers. They haven't been very impressive. I want a 24th land with these 4s and 5s. Then we have to take out four other cards. Am I just taking out light at the stage? Maybe I'm just taking out light at the stage. Or is it just lava runner? Uh, it's too 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 late. I got to hit done. It should have been lava runner, I think. Uh oh. I may be playing too many cards here. I 
you know, so the last we had too, we were taking too much time. Uh, yeah, we need one more land. Uh, 54 plus 7 is 61. Okay, we're only playing 61. That's not so bad. No, Carnival is awesome in this matchup. Love Carnival against the Landwar Elf deck. And, like, the Explore creatures, killing the Explore creatures immediately for one mana. Certainly love, love Carnival. I don't think Sultai's going to outgrind us when we have Angrath. Also, uh, but these these cards help us go really late. You know, we get to draw a whole lot of cards with these things. Land. All right. Very nice. Good job, Gilgate. Good time for the Gilgate. Also. No. Bad branch walker. So they're likely going to pay the three life for the lightning strike. And then we draw two mountains. We need to draw these and graths. Yeah, I think there's a one of light up the stage. That's what I that's what I think happened. Is that we have one light up the stage. So I have to keep up two mana to be able to lightning strike the wild growth walker. But thankfully, risk factor is instant, so like it helps us out. Fight whales with my fists. Getting the gifted sub from After Wizard. After Wizard, thank you so much. 48th gifted sub for After Wizard. So kind. Hey, Zerf, doing good. Have a fun line of a decks today. Um, and I think we're going to be having another donation deck. Um, instead of Mardu Angels. I think don't think we'll be playing Mardu Angels today. Yeah, risk factor is just kind of doing its thing. Our opponent's just not not playing anything. Ooh, Angrath. Oh, that might have been Hillsburn. I did add it. I did add in some Hillsburn. I haven't gone through all the the artists that you recommended. Um, that's certainly one that I've gone through so far. <laughs> Don't think they're just going to explore at instant speed. Here, so I think it's okay to tap out.
So should I Angrath steal Wild Growth Walker? Or do I Lightning Strike it and tick Angrath up? Oh, wow. They're just... Taking the damage, huh? Oh, we are at three subs now. Good call. Sorry, I was just... You're just dude, fuel just so we're at three the and 81. Freedom, Get that number taken down. Good call. Good call. Thanks, After Wizard. Always Angrath Plus. Because if there's no fire, then there's no steel. No fire, no steel. And so... See what our opponent discards. A Vivian. All right, can we win game three on the draw? Our 61 card deck. Um, actually, I think I liked Lava Runner there. Yeah, the one light up the stage. I don't know, actually, maybe we keep Lava Runner in. It did get cast downed, but you know they have cast down for Pestilent Spirit as well. Um, which I kind of like. I like it protecting Pestilent Spirit. I don't think we need the light of the stages. Honestly, maybe just main deck light of the stage should just be Angrath. Angrath's sweet. You think I should just stay with 60, uh, 61 cards? Um... This probably won't work, but oh well. We'll go down to 60 on the draw. Ooh. I don't like my hand. Maybe Sovereign's Bite should have been the card I took out. Don't like this hand, but the thing is, is I don't like going to six with our deck. I don't think our deck mulligans very well. I think we kind of need all of our cards. So that's kind of rough also. We, we do at least have a Lightning Strike to kill a Wild Growth Walker. Nah, we just can't do that. That hand's terrible. Alright, this is better. Yeah, we, we need to make sure we get to to three lands, but then after that, our other spells kind of help out. So, yeah, you can play with more than 60 after, yeah, you can play with more than 60. You just can't play, you can't play with less than 60, but you can play more than 60. It's not better to play more than 60. 60 is the best number to play with. I'm likely going to be casting Carnage here for 4 mana. So yeah, I think I wanted to shock this. Because um, I think I'm going to be wanting to cast Carnage for 4 mana. Like seeing Wild Growth Walker right about now. This has been a good time for the Pestilent Spirit. Our opponent really showed that they wanted to be able to play Wild Growth Walker plus Explore Creature back to back last game.
they're going to gain some life. But, oh well, hopefully Angrath helps out. And having double carnage. Oh, don't negate this. Come on. Oh, come on. Bleh. Hey, what's up, Glaive? Gross. Don't do it. No. Where's my pestilence spirit at? I can just carnage away the two cards in hand. I guess that's my best option. This Cosmotronic wave looks really silly. So still, if, if we hit this land drop, we can Angrath, Steel, Jade Light, and then uh, that six power that we can attack Vivian with and kill Vivian. Assume they're going to attack us for seven. Of course, Angrath's going to be dead then. All right, so Sovereign's Bite's not very necessary in this matchup. All right, so, you know, learn, learn about sideboarding there, um, you know, with our first loss to red, and then our, our loss here, I think we could sideboard a little better. Cosmotronic Wave, while being awesome when you have Pestilence Spirit, doesn't really do anything if you don't have Pestilence Spirit. So, I think, um, I think I, so I took out the, I took out the Light at the Stages, and I think that was incorrect. So I think I need to keep the Light at the Stages and take out the Sovereign's Bites. I think that's the thing that I, I wish those Sovereign's Bites were Stages. Um, yeah. But Angrath would have been really good if we hit our fifth land. But, you know, we mulliganed, didn't hit a fifth land. Um, light, up, light up the stage. Not having that in the deck hurt us for hitting land drops. The other thing is I should probably be playing Coil there also. Which, if I bring Coil in, I guess that's, like, where Lava Runner is coming out. I think I liked having Lava Runner. Yeah, if I take Wild Growth Walker, though, it does not. Wild Growth Walker would not have killed Vivian. We needed six power to kill Vivian. Uh, I think that's a draw, Jason. I think that's a draw. I don't know exactly, though. Um. But, so we didn't get to Angrath, but I certainly like Angrath quite a bit. But yeah, this deck was pretty fun. Didn't you know? Didn't take very long with the games. I think there's still some tuning to do here. Um, I think this is a deck I may play again tomorrow uh, and try to kind of work from here. It's certainly possible I should just be going with the Angrath main. Um, so we'll see. Um, yeah. Uh, I would not say this deck's a bad version of Mono Red. It's a, it's certainly a, it's a lot different deck. I don't think Mono Red is very good, but I think this deck has good potential. All right, so that was Rakdos Burn. Um, 
yeah, pretty excited to continue on with this deck some more. But that'll be it for today. So if you're uh, watching this later on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And... Uh, 